Hi, everybody. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, here in Riverton, uh, they're saying that uh, we're supposed to have 70 degrees uh, all week long and might even get up to the low 80s. So we're, uh, we're feeling great in the big city of Riverton, Wyoming. Um, yesterday, one of the things that I talked about was uh, the idea of one or unity that is a, a sub-theme within uh, the letter of e Ephesians. And one of the reasons that that is a sub-theme in this book is because of the culture of that day. Uh, one of the things that was going on uh, is that there was this cultural belief in a, uh, a multitude of gods. Uh, some estimates say there were as many as 50 gods that were worshipped uh, in the city of Ephesus. Uh, so it was common that society was very fractured by all the worship and the religious ideas that seemed to separate everybody. So when Christ came along as the cosmic Christ, his goal, or as the po Apostle Paul presents it, the goal of Christ then is to bring the church uh, together as one people submissive to that one God. Uh, in fact, in Ephesians 4, 4 through 6, uh, Paul mentions that there is one God, one faith, one baptism, one Lord, one Savior, and he emphasizes that aspect. Well, in our own day, we tend to be a very fragmented society as well, and we tend to say that we worship whoever we want to worship, and all gods are equal, and all ideas are equal. So in a way, what we see in our modern world is very fragmented as well. But one of the things that Paul says in this passage that we looked at on Sunday morning, in verse 21, he says, Christ is seated in the heavenly realms. And then he says, far above all rule, all authority, power, and dominion, and every title that can be given, not only in the present age, but also in the one to come. Now, all of those names of, of ruler, dominion, uh, authority, all of those are names for levels of those ancient gods. But what Paul is telling us is that Christ is over all and that we are to worship him alone. Now, uh, he mentions at the very end of that verse that, uh, that Christ is far above every title that can be given, not only in the present age, but also in the one to come. And you know that uh, politicians love titles. You know, they love getting their name on something, and they love to develop a big name for themselves. But, uh, but Paul is telling us that the name of Christ is above every title that has ever been given, and that he is the Lord of all. Now, that truth then brings us to a real sense of the distinctiveness of Jesus Christ. And you know, if we have Jesus, we don't need anything else. And uh, I hope that uh, those extraneous things that you've attached to your life, that you'll set them aside and say, Jesus is enough. Make that a reality today. Bye for now. God bless.